Alrighty, my peeps. Sorry for the delay. I wanted to get a nice camera angle to where I don't have to hold it and it moves around so you can see everything. Now for this tutorial, I do recommend that you get a piece of paper and pen so you can write it down because the info I'm about to share is going to be a lot. And you don't want to be going in and out throughout the video. But what I'm going to show you today is how to apply wall build items to your buildings as well as where you can get those wall build items. And this helps you improve your account overall. Now to get started, normally you win wall builds throughout events, placing the top 10, 50, 100, yada, yada, yada. But mainly you go to your blacksmith. And that's what we're going to do here now. So there's your master blacksmith. You got your coins up there. Now, up here, you're going to go first to your silver. Okay. And there's five important ones on the silver part. Just scroll down. Do you get to all the way till the build item stop, which is right here, the very last one. This is how I go about it. All right. So you want to obtain this first one right here, which is your storehouse. Gives you extra flank. Okay. And we're just going to do one per. If you have a bunch, get a couple. Then you go to your second one. This is your stonemason for extra range. Grab one of those puppies. Scroll a little bit up. Your old tree keep. Get one of those puppies. That's for your courtyard. Extra courtyard. This is your hospital. This gives you extra units on the front. Grab that baby. And then finally, this is the big one, guys, right here. The village barracks. This is what you need for your defense to apply. So, grab a couple of those. But I'm just going to grab one because I already have a bunch on this one. And then your bakery, which gives you extra melee. Now, those are just five. Those are the five basic ones that you can get off the blacksmith, okay? So, having said that, we're going to exit out. And, and this is the reason why I tell you guys to attack in your main. Because if you do it in your outpost, if your outpost is a wood, you don't get your stone mason for your extra range. If your outpost is a stone, you don't get your sawmill, which is your sawmill for extra units on the front. Which we'll go into detail here in a second about. So, the main castle here already has... The wall builds apply, so I'm going to go to winter. But just pretend that I am still in the main castle. Because main castle and outers are exactly the same. Same buildings, same everything. They have all the buildings, except for, obviously, towers. And enchantment. Now, we're in winter. Now, for defense, what I'm going to show you is this the wall builds. So you go to your, if it, you have a military district and you have it in your district, go to it. If not, find your barracks, click on it. Real simple guys, real, real easy. You're probably gonna hit yourself in the head a couple times knowing how easy this is. All right, so what you're gonna do is apply the wall build. So click on that building. Make sure everything, we can see everything here. Let me scoot the camera back just a little. All right. So, we click on that little circle doohickey. All right. This is applying the wall build. You can hit the down arrow button. It's going to pop up your wall builds. Okay. This is for extra courtyard for offense. So, don't worry about that. So, what we're going to do is apply it. Just click on it. Click the green arrow. And then assign it. Okay. Now, this is the basic of basic, which is the gray one, okay? Now we gotta upgrade it, because at the moment, if you wanna see real quick, 
you only get 80 plus troops on the wall. Now, by upgrading it, which is real simple as well, don't worry. I take some ibuprofen because you're probably going to be hitting yourself a lot. This upgrade right there. And oh, I'm going to need to get more, which is good because I can show you how to get more upgrades. Now, see, you got your green upgrade, purple, and orange, one I always talk about in game. Now, orange obviously is the highest, but I hate wasting them. And right at the moment, I don't have any. But purple, we're going to always use purple. Okay? You're going to apply. All right, so it's applied. Just exit out. Now look how many units are on the wall. From 80 to 200. So that's an, un an extra 120 units, y'all. It's crucial in this game. All right? So now we're going to exit out. So now we got our barracks wall build assigned when we're getting attacked. So manage we're getting attacked right now. Go to your stables. This is another crucial one. This is for extra courtyard, guys. Huge, huge. Again, to apply. And right now, I don't want to waste any, but this is an important video. We're going to use, well, I can tell you, the orange gives you an extra 72%. But right now, we're going to give you, we're just going to use the purple. That's 60%. Okay. So, same thing to apply it down it'll be right there boom okay so now look now you have your two wall builds on for defense now we got to go to our mill guys remember there's three well technically there's a five but i'll show you the other extra two for a bonus military or the uh, trade district the flour mill same thing down, down. I got a bunch of those puppies. But this account has a bunch of these. Boom. Click on it. It's highlighted. Now remember, we don't have any extra units. Now we do. Right now we have an extra. Which I should have showing you guys how much defense there was before on the wall and then after but it's okay <clears throat> by doing the green one it gives you 225 extra on the wall so look at that we already added 425 troops to the wall by assigning two builds now the purple one goes even higher which i recommend if you have the upgrade remember just upgrade it there or click on that arrow and then click there. Now, real quick, to show you how to get these upgrades right here, we're gonna take a little detour and go back to our main. Back to our blacksmith. And this time we're gonna go underneath the gold coin and scroll up. And this is called recycling your wall builds. The pointless ones. Which, this is a pointless one. The winter farm right here. Well, I don't think it's that kind of pointless. It adds you 5,000 storage, which your Castilians do that anyway. They do 180 storage capacity. But anyways, another time for that. So, what we're going to do is get a bunch of these so we can recycle them to get those upgrades. So, and plus we got a bunch of coins, so let's just get as many as we can. Oh, we can only get nine because the wall builds are, are the storage is filled. All right, so we're going to exit out now. Let's go back to our winter, though, real quick, and then I'll show you how to recycle. Now, you can recycle anywhere long as you're inside of a castle. You go to your build menu, build items. That's your recycling icon right up there. Click on it. You find those ones you just got, which are right there. Boom. Click on them. This is how you recycle. You just hit the screen button. Boom. 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 Boom.
garbage recycle. Now, sometimes they give you a green one. Sometimes they give you a purple one. It's kind of a ripoff good game does, but, you know, they do what they do. So let's keep recycling these so there's no more. You always want to recycle the ones that you can't use, guys. You don't want to recycle ones that, like, are for your courtyards and stuff like that. Ones for, like, your research center. Sure, yeah, recycle. Here's one. We can recycle. This is 150 food storage capacity. Don't need that because we already have 700 plus food storage capacity on our bakeries. So let's go ahead and recycle it and get some more. All right, got us another purple. All right, so let's go back to our flower mill. And again, was this on purple? No, not yet. So let's go ahead and put it on purple, guys. Purple, boom. Remember, that's how you apply it. The upgrade, bam. And well, I can tell you the exact number of the wall. So we click on it. So right now we are sitting 275 plus our military district, which to our barracks, 275 plus what was it, 200? 200, that gives us 475 units. So we went from, if we look at our wall, we were probably at 550 before wall builds, 5,500. Now, obviously that's high as is, but when average accounts and just like myself, this is not my account, obviously, but we have around without wall builds, probably around 2,500 men on the wall. But by adding that, that's an extra 500 troops, guys. That's 3,000 on the wall for us. Okay, and again, we're always set to the front, remember? All right, let's go back. And again, we put on our stables, the wall build for the extra courtyard, which I'm gonna show you stats here in a second. Now, here are the two extra bonus ones. Now, these are awesome because these go for both offense and defense if you have the wall build and you can only win these in events so you go to your keep now normally your keep we get from the blacksmith is your courtyard but from events you can win this one and you'll like this one look at this plus 40 percent combat strength for range units it doesn't say for attacking nor defending so it's for both both guys so that goes for your defense. So that's extra 40%. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna apply it because I wanna show you these statistics here in a second. All right, so we applied that. Oh, sorry. All right, so we're gonna go back to it. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna upgrade that sucker. It goes all the way up to 60% with the orange. It's 50% for the purple. So it's upgraded. Boom. Look at that 50% range, y'all. That's crucial and huge. Now, for your extra melee is for your bakery. Now, look. And here's a prime example. When we go put our wall build on, here's the one you get from your blacksmith. That gray one. See, only attacking melee. But, if you get the ones from the events, guys... Look at that, 40% melee on a green one for both offense and defense. So we're gonna apply that one. Okay, so it's applied. And then you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go upgrade it. This person's probably gonna get mad at me, but okay. So we're upgraded. Now look at this, y'all. Plus 50% melee offense and defense. So anytime you're attacking, you got extra 50% melee too. As well as, if you ever get attacked, boom, extra melee, 50%. All right? So those are your five defensive ones, okay? Which I will make a video for the offensive ones here shortly. Hope this helps if you have any. Oh, yeah, let's go to our statistics. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, defense. Click on our, let's, let's, go, let's go ahead and watch what happens when you assign a general now that has extra wall, which 
Mr. Horatio does. Click on it. We exit out so it refreshes. Look how much is on the wall, y'all. 7,000. What did we start with? With no wall builds, no general? 500? That's 2,000 extra on the wall, guys, for wall builds. And you have them all in there in your inventory, I promise you. You just haven't used them, and I'm probably certain that a lot of you have a bunch. Now, we go to the stats. Check the stats out for this puppy. And guys, no one's going to attack you if these are applied. Because when you apply those ones that for melee and range that put, have both offense and defense, when they spy you, if they do spy you, they're going to see these numbers. And look at this. Here you go. There's your 50% range, 50% melee. Because we added a general, it went from 300k to 464 troop capacity, which means a total of 464,000 troops are going to be depending against any attack. And then, there's your courtyard for your stables, 60% courtyard. So now, instead of just having 100 basic courtyard and whatever the other stats you have with your Castian, <clears throat> This one, you're going to have a total of 100 plus 60, 160. And then this gets the unit, I think, an extra 20. So look at that, 180% more in the courtyard. Insane. And guys, this is the key to not losing your troops on these attacks. Because it takes so dang long to recruit them, especially if you don't spend money and buy them. That's why I always harp on overall troop count. It doesn't matter if you take a flank. You win the wall on the flank, but still lose 12,000 in troops. Who cares? Really? You want to lose overall troop loss. Which... By using that Ice Stalkers event that I use and use accounts to attack each other with that I have access to, I do it all the time to figure out the best way to not lose that many troops on an attack. On big attacks, guys. I don't go on the piddly attacks. These are for big attacks. So, again, I hope this helps y'all. But again, that's how you get your wall builds for your defense and assign the buildings. I'm about to post this video. Let me know if you have any further questions.